he has reportedly made a serious accusation of domestic violence in an ongoing dispute with his New York City neighbors. But Justin Theroux seemed to be escaping his troubles by taking off for Paris, France on Sunday, where he was seen arriving in high spirits. The actor, 47, donned a woolly olive knee-length coat over a black bomber jacket and blue t-shirt as he touched down at Charles de Gaulle Airport, this weekend. Wearing dark gray skinny jeans, he completed his look with black shoes and a pair of shades. Later, the film star switched outfits while out and about in the French capital, wearing a cream top over a gray hoodie. Justin has left behind plenty of drama in New York after recently becoming involved in a dispute with his neighbors who live in an apartment below him, according to Page Six. The Leftovers star said in documents submitted to a Manhattan civil court that he's seen and heard alarming things coming from his downstairs neighbors, an attorney named Norman Renacow and his wife Barbara, that point to domestic violence. Because my apartment is directly above the Renacow's apartment, I have had the misfortune over the years of personally overhearing Mr. Renacow frequently scream at and berate Mrs. Renacow, with some of those instances resulting in calls to 911. The girl on the train actor said. Justin told the court he contacted the authorities February 10 after hearing Mr. Renacow shouting at his wife. Building officials subsequently witnessed Barbara with a black eye days later, the actor said. He said, although I cannot know for certain that Mrs. Renacow's injury stems from the Sunday night altercation two and a half days earlier. I am bringing this to the court's attention because, by all outward appearances, earlier attempts to go through the police have not been effective. Both of the Renacows deny his accusations in their court statements with Barbara claiming she tripped and fell on a sidewalk. This resulted in a bruise below my left eye, she said, two days before Justin initially contacted police, in addition to text messages communicating the news to her husband. On the preceding Friday, February 8. While returning to my office from the gym at lunchtime, I tripped and hit the side of my face on the sidewalk while admiring a cute toddler, she said in court documents. Barbara has never feared for, her, safety while alone with Norman and believes the domestic violence allegations are Theroux's attempts to gain an advantage in the renovation rift. Norman said that he often has to raise his voice so his wife can hear him, as she has hearing problems. Justin and his lawyer Eric Sherman owe Norman Renacow an apology, Renacow's lawyer Peter Levine said in the response. Justin, who appeared in last year's Ruth Bader Ginsburg biopic on the basis of sex, has been in litigation with Renacow for years, filing a harassment suit in 2017 about renovations he was making to his home, according to the paper. He has previously accused Renacow of trespassing and spying on him as they fight over 40 square feet of decking. 